What's up guys, Zephyr here, and today I have a battle for you. This is against my good friend Cashflow. We've battled a few times, as you can see. Uh, this is a UU battle using a fairly new mishmash of old teams I use, and I just decided to combine them into one. So anyway, let's get on with the battle, which should be right about now. <laughs> but anyway, ignore the crappy quality, unfortunately. My webcam is still not fixed, and I've yet to get a new one, so I've been using my iPod. So, he'll start off with his Victini. I'm going to lead off with my Choice Garb, Zorark, disguised as my Azo. And the thing with this is that um, Zorark, disguised as Azo, is barely recognizable unless you get hit. Even if, I don't even think Sub will break you. Because, I really don't know, does Sub break your illusion? That's something for Pokemon Mythbusters. But anyway, uh, he's gonna switch out to his Ambipom as I bring in Big Black, my Charizard. I know the fake out's coming, but I really don't have anything that can take it that well except my Milotic. And I'm definitely gonna need my Milotic for later, so I'm gonna switch into uh, my Charizard who does carry the Focus Blast. And here is the annoying part of the battle. He's just gonna keep you turning out into all these different Pokemans, and it's getting annoying because I'm like, okay. Yes, we get it. You have U-turn. Yes, it's a cool move, but it's annoying if you use it in rapid succession. But I'm going to go for Focus Blast. It's going to do a really good chunk to this Azumarill, especially how bulky these things usually are with max HP. I mean, the uh, defense and special defense is kind of lacking, but it makes up for it with its attack. But I'm going to go for HP Grass here, thinking I could take it out, but unfortunately I don't. But he can't make a substitute, so that was... A good, 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 good thing Charizard prevented him from doing was making that substitute because last time we battled behind the substitute, it was almost unstoppable. But I know Aqua Jet's coming. I don't know why I didn't switch out. So, yes, another stupid thing I did. But I guess I was afraid that whatever I brought in wasn't going to be able to outspeed him and take him out. So, I'm going to bring out my uh, disguise Zorak again. He's gonna go for Aqua Jet. It's going to break my illusion, but I carry Grass Knot on this thing, which is pretty common for a lot of Zorark. So yeah, gonna go for Grass Knot here. It's gonna be able to take it out, thank goodness. So that is one big threat out of the way, and I'm pretty sure that he was sub Aqua Waterfall and um, something else. I don't know, but anyway, I'm gonna bring a Marvelous here to take a U-turn. Marvelous, who really should be a girl. I don't know why I missabinated a boy, because my low tick boys kind of creep me out. They're like, they shouldn't be all like that. They're all flamboyant, flailing their tail around with their little pink hair. But anyway, this Mew <laughs> is going to come in here and set up a nasty plot. So I'm like, oh god. Oh my dear lord. So I know every time I battle him, he always gets greedy, he always tries to go for that plus four, and if I allow him to get to plus four, this Mew will become a serious major threat, and I it will probably be unstoppable. So what I decided to do here is go for the Haze, and if you don't know what Haze does, it's not a useless move, it gets rid of all stat changes, so that plus four went to plus zero. That's basically how good this uh, Milotic set is, which is pretty common, so if you guys haven't used the Haze Milotic, you really should. So. With a plus four, that Volt Switch probably would have done, put me in red or killed me, but thanks to the Haze, it doesn't do anything. But he brings in this Dark Knight, which is so annoying because this thing, all Bisharps are annoying in general, but his is just really annoying because he has a Sucker Punch, and you never know what's going to come. So he's going to go for a Substitute here, and I believe I go for a Cover. I don't know why I'm smacking myself in the face to this moment. I'm like, why did I go for a Cover? Because I... I did not know he was going to go for the substitute at all. I thought he was probably going to go for Sucker Punch, and I guess that's why. And if he had tried to set up, I still could have hurt him a lot. But um, fortunately, I am able to get rid of the sub. And um, unfortunately, he's going to go for Sucker Punch this turn. And even at full health, plus two, that Bisharp's going to kill me. So this should be a lesson to a lot of other people. Don't assume. Don't just assume. You have to predict around this crap. So... Now I'm going to bring in, I believe, yeah, this is still my Zorark, so, um, I'm going to go for the U-turn as he brings in Victini, it's going to do a buttload to this Victini, what, I don't know why I said buttload, that didn't do anything, wow, but, um, now I'm going to bring in my real Azel, and for some reason he didn't notice that, I guess he looked away or something, because we are doing this stuff in class, which we really shouldn't be doing, so yeah, that just lets you know, 
what kind of student I am because I freaking Pokemon battle in class. But yeah, gonna go U-turn right back out into my Zora arc because I wanted to go for the night days knowing I can outspeed him because he is Choice Scarf so he is locked into Brick Break. But I have a lot more speed than he does so I am able to kill him off. And I know a fake out at this range will kill me because Zoroark has horrible defense. Well, at least my Zoroark does. So I'm going to go out into Big Bird, my Zapdos, who can take those fake outs for days on end. And I knew the U-turn or something was coming because this Ambipom really can't touch me. Because he can go for a return, which he could have done, but I don't think he had it. And I think the only other moves he had were Taunt, Low Kick, and... Um, Wait, he has U-turn, fake out, taunt, and low kick. That's all he has. But um, he's gonna bring in Mew to take in a Thunderbolt, and Mew doesn't take that Thunderbolt very well. So I contemplated whether going for a Roost again or not. Not even again, just going for a Roost and getting back up to full health to take on whatever he wants to bring in. But I'm like, whatever, not gonna over predict, just gonna go for the Thunderbolt, kill him off. Now, what I should have done was gone for the Roost right here, knowing that the Sucker Punch was coming. What I did not know was this. It's going to get a critical hit. Blech, I can't even say it. It's going to get a critical hit, and it's going to piss me off. So now I have to bring in my Azel, basically, to do some damage control. So he's going to go for a Sucker Punch. I'm going to set up a Nasty Plot, and um, basically predicting around that. But now I know he's probably going to get greedy or over-predict too much, which he really shouldn't have done. But it allows me to take out his uh, Bisharp with... A freaking flamethrower so now I'm like please Azel survive this u-turn and get off your own u-turn and I do and I'm like yes and I'm like awesome but I actually misclick by accident and go for psych shot but it's not all that bad because I did get the plus two so whatever happened happened it does a decent chunk to this thing I stay in on whatever move he wants to go for being the psychic I guess he has uh, he has Psychic over Air Slash because he wants better coverage against Hitmon Tops or whatever, but I'm gonna go for my own U-turn, and this is actually Zorak as well, so Shaman, the person you rarely see in my battles, is now actually about to do some work, so I'm gonna bring in Shaman now as his last Pokemon, I believe, is the Ambipom, so I'm like, whatever Shaman, you can take a fake out, booyah! Shaman takes those fake outs for days, but not as well as I wanted him to, but I end up flinching. Well, not even end up flinching. Fake out always flinch. I don't know why, but I always think fake out and all those other flinching type moves don't make you flinch. But he's going to go for U-turn. It's going to bring me down to barely enough where I can survive another move. But I'm able to get off the Seed Flare, and that's going to be a good game. But if the, um, I haven't been able to get off the Seed Flare and he had killed me off, I could have just went in with Zorak and murdered his face. But yeah, good game, Cash Flow. One of our better games. That was a narrow 2 of victory in my favor. Um, he, again, he doesn't have a channel, but if you did like this battle, you could like it, and I will see what else I can do. Uh, I have a few more LP parts coming soon, and a few more PO battles, so you can look forward to that. But I don't know when the next Wi-Fi battle will be coming, because I barely have any internet. This is a... Not even over Nintendo Wi-Fi. This is like, what do they call it? Infrared battle type thing. But anyway, I'm rambling, so I'll see you guys next time. Peace.